because oh, uh, I remember we had a, the event, and yeah. then the, there was like a selfie booth, right? Oh, uh, and then there was like three black mans behind us, <laughs> and then I, I remember I took like I think two two drinks already. I'm two drinks in, so I'm saying whatever the fuck's on my mind. Uh, so they come up, they come up behind me, and I look, I'm looking at the screen, and I'm like, Yo, Carlos, there's a bunch of unlockable <laughs> characters. <laughs> It's like still unlocked. <laughs> unlockable. Yo, do you know how many pictures I have like that, fam? I have so many unlockable pictures in my. Oh Any my Polaroid God. of Josh is just black. I, I'm just dark out. I have pictures like that on my iPod, bro. Of there's you? Some, no, there's of you, bro. <laughs> oh, no, there, there's some pictures I have on my iPod Touch because back in like grade seven, we used to take pics, bro. Yo, yo, when the camera quality was the trash. Camera quality oh, was yeah. shit. I was not yeah. seen, fam. The camera quality was shit, bro. Facts. Uh, shout out that class though. That class. That made me want to do YouTube, eh? Which one? Oh, uh, Pizzani's? Wait, no, grade seven. Damn, I had, I had class with then? I had class with Josh, and then we did this. Did, did I show you before? No. I think you've seen clips of it. It was like me and Josh on oh, like yeah, a talk the show. The one, oh, yeah, the yeah. Hey guys, or something. <laughs> <laughs> so what it, what it was? It was supposed to be like a news broadcast. Mm. It was like a news broadcast. We did like skits and shit. Yeah. But that that's the first time like I'm like, oh fuck, this is cool making content. Word. And then we were supposed to start a YouTube channel like. In grade seven, we just never did that it. Did yeah. No, <laughs> grade seven is kind of crazy, though. I know. I think it's one of those. It's like um, you see the YouTubers do it, and then you try it for a bit, and be like, oh fuck, I'm not an adult, and I don't have time to do this. I'm trying to be a kid. Nah, nah. I, yeah, I remember back in the day, like you used to do like the fake Call of Duty, like like a video effects. Yeah, we had some like, video you, effects, oh, bro. It was so corny, bro. We it had some video so effects, though. <laughs> now I'm not gonna for his time. But for his time, we're sick, though. Tell me why, though. I feel like iPod Touch apps they they went crazier than oh, now. Yeah. Bro, the um, Jetpack Joyride, uh, Subway Surfers. Subway yeah. Surfers. Uh, what else? What else was there? Even the things you can Yo, do. Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja, bro. Fruit Ninja was crazy. I think I think there's just so much other shit. Like, we don't even... It, like, nothing's cool to us anymore. Yeah. But the, the ones in the past, it's almost as if, like, the first time we've seen them, like, holy fuck, this is, like, revolutionary. Mm. I don't know. Because, like, back then, they had, like, the simplest games, bro. Yeah. Or, like, mm. the simplest apps. Flappy Bird, fam. One of the sickest ones, you, you know, the, the, the slide... It was like the water slide and go like this. Or wait, I know it's like a so exactly. there's a water slide and then and then you're like controlling it like this, like a gyroscope, and your boy's going like this. I know I used to play nah, on my dad's phone all the time. You never played that? Never heard of that one. And then I don't know why we played this shit, but the paper toss. Why oh, the yeah. fuck were we playing that why on iPod? Paper toss. Yeah. Why the fuck are we playing that on iPod, bro? What do you mean? <laughs> when you just do that in real game. life, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're so set on, on throwing paper on virtually. We could do that shit in I real mean, life, bro. Nah, yo, yo, I remember, yo, remember the remember the gun one? Where, like you can like load in different guns and like it oh, just makes yeah. sound. Oh, it just makes a sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah. for sure Carlos had that oh, app. Yeah, I had that app, bro. I even had the lighter yeah, one. Ass kid. <laughs> the, the lighter one? <laughs> yeah. I had the lighter one. I had the milk one to go. Pause, 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 pause. The milk one. You didn't have the milk one? <laughs> it didn't have to be milk. It could have been beer too, but like, oh, I don't know about that one. But, but I think crazy. the dumbest one was the, the cookie clicker because you would just spend all your, I know man's in grade five would just spamming that game all day. Cookie clicker. Yeah. You, know you ever played you, that? I, I remember that one. You, you just spam it and then you get points. That's all. That was all it's, the game. It's kind of like, it? it's kind of like Farmville. So you can, you can get more like a uh, auto click things. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you can get shit that runs it oh, for you. That, that clicks it faster for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's look, it? That's, look, it. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Bro? Now that's looking back though, I'm like, this is pretty much like running a business. Why you just yeah, run a business, yo? Exactly. Bro. But I feel like we're on our we're on our phones now. Is strictly just social media or just to call someone. You know, we're not on on our phone to on games, sit down yeah, like and, games and, all and that. actually like play games. Oh uh, well, not at this age. There's definitely some kids out there that are still playing. That's games. Still doing it right really? now. Yeah, like, look, like my cousins playing like Roblox and shit on their phone. Yeah, I feel bro. like that's dead, bro. Yeah. Nah, my like, cousin, my little cousins, they're playing on. What do you mean that's dead? You, have you not seen iPad Kids? That's different though. That's different. Mm, it's like watching stuff. They're still playing games too, bro. Really? Okay, They're still maybe. playing games I'm, I'm too. I'm not that age. That's, that's why be slow as hell though. Yeah, for real. Nah, yo, I see my- <laughs> you, know, you know the iPad Kids when you're at like your family gathering and they give you the iPad, it's just mad, like musty. The screen is yeah, like- so <laughs> <wild>. <laughs> There's like Everything crumbs and shit. <laughs> ew, I hate that, that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know when you touch the screen and then you, you go against the nail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the crunch? Yo, that's why I used to never give them my phone. Yeah. Come oh, back. Dusty. Ew. I remember back in the day, Denzel's phone? Bro, dusty as the hell. Denzel's MacBook is even crazy, bro. Dirt, bro. Crazy. Denzel's MacBook? Like, if you lick that shit, you'll probably gain calories, fam. <laughs> I feel like there was always that one kid in high school who just was like mad sloppy, had mad boogers everywhere. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, hear me out, hear me out. If, if oh. we're in an apocalypse, right? Oh, yeah. And there's nothing else to eat. 
and you had Denzel's laptop, would you lick it for calories? Oh, hell, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm dying, you lick bro. that shit for calories. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. I think I'm dying still. <laughs> that, that ain't going to fill me. You got at least a day of... Nah, <laughs> gross. A day is bro, crazy. You, you get something, bro. <laughs> That's gross. Yo, did you hear that? Oh, it was you that told me, like, you eat a slug? No, I didn't what? eat a slug. That was Josh. No, somebody ate a slug? Wait, oh, did yeah, you tell yeah. me that? No, you told me that. You told me that. Ate a slug? That, that, that definitely wasn't me, and bro. Then, and then it, like, um grew in their body? Yeah. Wait. That was you. That was you who said that. Wait, what? I swear you said that. Mandela no, no. effect. <laughs> no, no, no. You said that. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. You're like, oh, someone ate a slug and it grew in their body or something. How's that even happen? Yeah. Well, what was it like Mandela effect. No, no, no. So yeah. check this out. Right. So there was a person. Yeah. They ate a slug. And when it went in their body, pretty much it paralyzed them. Yeah. Like just from eating a slug, bro. Yeah. So I think at first they started throwing up. They started getting sick. Mm. And then second, like... I think they started losing their eyesight just oh, from eating a slug, bro. It was off a of dare. It's like, yo, bro, eat that slug. From eating one slug? You know the banana slug I threw at you one time? See, yeah, I, thought yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I yeah, thought you <laughs> ate it, though. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I would never do that. I used to use some crazy stuff, but I wouldn't do that, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. I wouldn't do that. Nah, I eat it, fam. But uh, there was this guy, he ate a banana slug. and Like raw? Yeah, he started losing everything. And eventually, like, he was paralyzed. It just killed him. The fuck? Yeah, it's fucked. Who's eating a slug, though? I know. It's off a like, dare. What? Off a dare. That's crazy. Bro, some a dare, bro. So stupid. Have you ever did like a dare that that was crazy? Here we go. Josh probably I feel, had I feel, I feel like you. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Josh bro. did some yeah, dares, Josh, bro. Josh. I, I used to do some, listen back in the day when I needed the bread. Mm. I used to do some crazy stuff, bro. I I do some crazy that's stuff. understandable though for bread. <laughs> I do some crazy stuff. You get a thrill out of it though, at least. Of course, bro. <laughs> but yo, the, the thing is, like, yo, everybody gets a thrill out of it. Mm. That that's was entertainment true. back in the day. Facts. You that didn't have no money to go anywhere. Bro. It's just like, oh, you eat a leaf, fam. That's so true. Yeah. Cause you need that homie that's like down to do whatever, bro. Cause exactly. it Yo, back in the day, we were bored as fuck. Yo, people, they would go to the mall for fun. This is what we would do for fun. Yeah. yeah. This is what we would yeah, do. Yeah, in our neighborhood, bro, all we would do, we would just do activities outside, man. Because yeah. there's nothing to do in our area, right? Yeah. We go to the park, we play airsoft, we look look for garbage and shit. Yeah. I don't even know. We just do <laughs> random shit, bro. Mm -hmm. At one point, we even want to go hunting like bunnies. All right. <laughs> no, but I feel like if, if you have like childlike friends, like that have, um, that are not like super serious all the time, yeah. uh -huh. but like always down to do like cool, shit that you used to do that's the friends that are the best because it's like nowadays when you're trying to link up with friends oh what are you doing oh i'm working i'm working mm. but, oh you link up at night let's ride bikes fam that never happens no yeah, more they, imagine oh, you have I'm friends tired or something exactly like. i was really trying to push these guys to come out one time with me to, to go ride bikes at night and yeah. finally they did it yeah bro, exactly, bro. listen it's nostalgic. I, I, i'm always down fam yeah i'm the one person that's always down he is the one person that's always down mm. that's why i have i have josh with me all the yeah. time <laughs> josh, <laughs> josh, josh only one down fam. always happy bro. no matter what bro, when it comes to side missions i'm doing all of them bro. exactly i'll do it all the side missions <laughs> Yo, I remember Josh. Josh texted me one time, like, yo, I, I texted him, like, yo, you trying to go out? Damn, I'm doing a crazy side mission right now. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? This guy's doing side missions, man. What are these so called crazy. side missions, bro? Yo, I, I don't even remember what that was. It's fam. just errands, bro. I, I, don't, I don't remember what it was. It's just errands, fam. I think, I think there's something about doing side missions, though. Hear me out. Low key side missions are low key more fun. More, yeah, they're more fun than some motives. Word. Okay, give me an example then. So the you ever you ever watch a movie that you think is gonna be shit and then it turns out really sick? It's the same move, same vibe as a motive. So if you think a motive is gonna be yeah, super yeah. shit and it ends up being sick as a side mission would, mm. it's lit. Low key. Think about it because like it, it surprised you. It did. Still. Anything that surprises you is more is more sick. Like, bro, it's like, it's like that one time when we got the couch, the couch from the school. Yeah. See, yo, it's like <laughs> that that was, that was one thing that you, you didn't think was gonna be fun. You didn't think it was gonna be fun. It, it, it just turns out fun. One of the most fun is nice. It just oh, yeah. turns out fun. Okay, a birthday for example. <laughs> yeah, you, you have a regular birthday party. Oh, it's sick. Mm. Make that a surprise birthday. It's different. <laughs> you it know is, what I mean? It is, it is. Dino, bro. <laughs> but you have to have some sick side characters too. Because remember when we went to the, the dinner, when they invited us to the dinner, and then everything except for the dinner was fun. You know, like- Wait, when? Uh, remember um the one where it was like the- Lord of oh, the Rings. Oh, the Lord of the Rings dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. to link everybody. Like he was giving us puzzles, fam. <laughs> JB was giving us puzzles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was giving me numbers. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like yeah. even like when we were before we we're like about to go into the uber back home yeah there was a guy who i swear he was riding his bike loud ass metal music and he like he hit the car or some shit it was just random shit screaming yeah it was, <laughs> it was random that. shit that happened on the side that, that makes it more memorable word yeah you know it's, it's like the npcs that show up while yeah. you do these side missions yo like exactly. like loki i think the side missions are better than the actual mission oh yeah it's, it's better than the main mission bro Ooh, yeah that's a good take actually i'm telling you like let's just say like if we're going to the club like yeah. all the stuff before the club Loki better, bro. That's actually kind of true. Like bro. all the characters we see, but you know why that people? is? It's the little thing. No, but you know why that is? Because um, we expect the main to be lit, so mm. we are already going in there with the ex expectation. The side mission, it doesn't matter if how shit it is. Oh, if it pops up, oh, it's lit no matter what. You feel me? Because we, mm. we didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah. if it surprises you, then it's lit. Oh. If exactly. it surprises you. But also, yeah. I feel like if you're not with the right people, the side missions could be trash. Oh, yeah. True. Like, it's, yeah. they, they yeah. can just be garbage. You ever watch that movie, Soul? Soul? Oh, the, nah, the one nah, with the black guy. I, I still haven't watched that. You haven't watched that? I haven't watched it. So, no. there's this movie, pretty much this guy, he dies. It's a Disney movie, actually. Uh -huh. Animated Disney movie. He dies, and he goes to, like, the afterlife, whatever it is. And pretty much, it was, like, a whole lesson to tell him... Yo, it's the little things that matter. So he was living his life. He was doing all these adventurous shit. Oh. But it's the little things that actually made him enjoy life. It wasn't It wasn't mm. those big w events, winning prizes or like getting pride for things. It's, yeah, yeah. it's literally just like the little things, hang, hanging out with your homies, hanging out with your family and shit. Mm. I mean, and that, that's deep for a, for a Disney movie. Yeah. Oh. And it, th it made me think of uh, Puss in Boots. Wait, why? This guy always goes back to Puss Ooh, and the, Oh, I know, I know Check you're going this, this. I know you're going to this. So there's a theory, mm. right? That Perito in Puss in Boots, he's actually the manifestation of life. Manifestation of life. Wait, so, who? Hear me Perito, out. Perito, the, the little dog. The dog, the dog. <laughs> oh. So check this out. As we know, uh. there's already death in the film, right? The yeah. personification of death is in Puss in Boots. Mm. Thus meaning there has to be the correspondent of life. If there's oh, death, there has to be life. life. Now, remember Perito <laughs> said, he said, oh, my owners tried to get rid of me. They threw me in the sea inside a bag. Yeah. And remember he said, but somehow I got out and now I'm wearing the sweater. But that goes to say, like he almost died. So what if he did die, but he turned into a spirit and now he's this Almost like an angel that guides the lost souls, aka Puss in Boots, aka all the other characters true in the life. film, a way to find out what their true path mm, of life is. <laughs> Not Loki, because Perito was like, I didn't think he was going to be a significant character. I mm. thought he was like a homeless dog. Uh, like, Wait. you know, that homeless in real life, it's like a homeless guy who just loves life. That mm -hmm. was what I thought. But he's he's low key, the but personification of life itself. Yeah, no, like he's he's that has the most important character. He's the most important character because he's the one that made everybody realize differently. Facts. That's actually so true, bro. Because sometimes we don't realize like if if there's a present of one thing, uh -huh. that means something else is there, too. Yeah. You know, like, uh, for example, if there's one really, really evil force in the world. There's got to be a good force that's just as powerful. The yeah. opposite. It's like the yin and the yang. Like one has to exist for the other to exist. Mm. You get me? Yeah, that makes sense. There's also, a, have you guys watched uh, Coco? Coco? No, I haven't seen that. No, no, no. There's, no. A, there's a theory where it's like, it's low-key. Um, it talks about how Mexicans cross the border illegally. No way. So, so, so the, the if, you guys, if you guys watch, it's like- um, I know it's about the afterlife, Yeah, right? it's about the afterlife. So once uh you you die, yeah. the ghosts have to cross this bridge, right? Uh -huh. And the whole thing, like there's whole security guards on the, guarding the bridge and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And the whole theme is based around skulls and Mexican hats and shit like that. Cause yeah. it's Coco, yeah. right? And Coco goes in, he's the illegal guy who crosses the border. And so he's like, He's not a ghost. So when he goes in, it's an actual human. He can't cross the border because he has he's an actual human. So they they run after him, they kick him out. So it's like the the Mexicans oh, crossing, jumping. It's the like border patrol. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's Disney too alive? That's, that's Disney, Disney, fam. I'm telling you, yo, yo, I feel like Disney be doing that on purpose. Yeah, bro. that's they, they be doing it, bro. It, it ain't no way, bro. It's gotta be on they purpose. They definitely be doing this on purpose. Hundred. Cause you have to bag like they're adults too. They're not stupid. Exactly. Like, they're not kids, bro. They're like, not stupid. And for them to be in that position to animate for Disney, mm -hmm. they're very creative and they're very, you know what I mean? They're there. Yeah. You know, they're 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 smart. They know how to do shit. Mm. Of course they're leaving hints like that, bro. Exactly. Of course they're doing shit like that. And, Yo, oh, oh go yeah, ahead. go ahead. No, no, it's like what if you know how uh, Donald Trump 
like during the time wanted to install the border maybe that was their whole plan let's make a fucking movie so uh people can agree to make this border we'll put it in disney also that's yeah exactly <laughs> like propaganda exactly Yo, you know, like, Captain America and shit were uh, propaganda, too? I, like, yo, I just want to say that. Like, they used to do that, like, all the time. Yeah, like, during, like, World War II. Yeah. Really? Like, even, like, the Germans, like, they would do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. Was it was it Bugs Bunny? Like, Looney Tunes, Nah, right? I think it was, like, Daffy Duck or something. Yeah, Daffy yeah. Duck. Because either that or, like, the bald guy. What's his name again? Elmer Fudd or, or something. Oh, the, the one who shoots the yeah, rabbits? Yeah, with the yeah, 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 that guy, yeah, that yeah. rabbits. Yeah, 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 yeah no, I, think, guy. I think that guy's racist or something. Oh, for sure he is. They used sure. hella, yeah, they used hella yeah. freaking, um, what the do you call it, stereotypes. And, but it was a different time back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah a different, different time back 100. then. But I don't know, I feel like we still have those characters like today. Yeah. But like more low key. Because like if you say like, um, uh, what's the, Nigahiga? Uh -huh. Like yeah. you would get canceled low key if you said it wrong. <laughs> like if it was close, if it was because people don't know who he know is anymore. Yeah, like, not a lot of people. Some guy on the other podcast yeah. actually said the word, and he was like, "Wait, what?" I like, thought that's how you pronounce it, but nowadays, simple mistake like that, boom, get out of nah, here. Nah, it's whatever. I, in I my opinion, like, I mean, I, it's not my place, but yeah. Yeah. Like me, like, but I, it's I, accident, I don't care, bro. It's I, accident, bro. Like, yeah. yo, like, like even with like like raw, what's his name? Rich Ryan, like when his name was Rich. Oh, oh yeah, Rich. Yeah, yeah, like bro, like I, I did not care about that, bro. Yeah. If anything, it's a joke. Like, that's all, pe people take it too seriously. Yeah, no, they, they definitely take it too far. Because at the end, are, what are you trying to do here? Are, are you trying to like cause trouble? Are you trying to like you know <laughs> like, what I mean? Are you trying to inflict harm? Then it's different. Oh, man's just trying to rap. Yeah, I man's know. just trying to have fun and have jokes. But the problem is, is when other people they want to feel important and be like, "Yo, let's 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 do something about it." You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, they get I think excited. Like, man's get excited to feel important about stopping something. Yeah, because like, which isn't necessarily bad, but. Yeah, like, cause like most people, like they they want to feel good that like they're doing something. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they, they want to. But sometimes we don't realize like that's just causing more conflict mm -hmm. when it could just it's just all jokes and. I fun. don't know. I feel like that's happening so much nowadays, man. Yeah. Like yeah, every man, every man wants to be like Superman. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's so true. Everywhere, bro. Everyone. Just everyone wants to be like, in the spotlight. Everybody wants to be heard. Everybody wants to. But I don't think it's bad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you think it's possible for everybody to be heard at the same time? Not or does hell, some no. people it's have to be quiet? That's a it's, big it's impossible, war, bro. It's impossible. Yeah. I think that's what Twitter is. That's why it's a, like a warfare there. It is. You know what I mean? It's freaking the trenches. Did you see they tried to cancel the baby and then he had a show in Japan. Whew! You know the DMX concert where everyone was like, where uh, oh, it, was it big? panned to the crowd? Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. was like a whole, that was the same J the baby in Japan, fam. If you're the baby? Yeah, if you looked out. He has pull like that? Yes. That's how you know it's like, even though you're canceled in America, you, you can, can go still to make Asia. money and you go to Asia. They don't care. It's mm. all about the vibe over there. You yeah. Me? You know what? Because a lot of the time we say, oh, Asians aren't that big in, yeah. in media. Uh -huh. They're fucking big in, in Asia, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, 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 yo think about yo, yo, uh, how much people does like Philippines, China have, Japan. Yeah. They have bigger people, bro. Nice. Yeah. Like, if anything, that's bigger than here. Mm -hmm. Like, dead ass K pop is bigger than hip hop. K pop yeah, is 100. huge, bro. K pop is way bigger <laughs> than hip hop. 100, 100. Well, we just don't bag it because we're, we're tapped into the Western. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're tapped into the Western media, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's crazy, you know that movie, uh, Everything Everywhere All At Once? Oh, yeah, oh, I've watched that. Yeah. Check this shit out. So there's a theory that Everything Everywhere All At Once oh. is actually a lesson for Asian kids to respect and be grateful for their parents. Yeah, Check that makes sense. Out. That makes sense. Check this out, and I just pulled it <laughs> oh out. Oh, my <laughs> God. No, stop with the sudden movement. <laughs> Check this out. Uh. So in the movie, right, mm. the main character, the mom, she goes into so many different realities and sees every single version of herself in different jobs, different universes, different variants of herself, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually to show us how much she sacrificed for her daughter. So what, what the true underlying message is, she could have been a big movie star. She could have been very successful in so many different things. She could have so many different lives, yeah. but she chose to sacrifice everything for her daughter by being a business owner and giving money to her, putting her to school. Mm. And that flew over my head the first time I watched it. Yeah. Cause I thought it was just all for, you know what I mean? What the, what the main plot was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, that shit was made for, yo, be grateful for your parents. Oh, dog. that's, that's deep though. I know bro. Cause like, yo, the fact that she sacrificed like her, her whole dream for you, yeah. mm -hmm. like that's pretty wild. Like imagine if you did that fam. Mm -hmm. Cause like, we don't, we don't take it in. Like our parents had to be, you know what I mean? They had to be, what's the opposite of self, selfless? Yeah, selfless. Mm -hmm. They had to be selfless so we could be selfish. Yeah, they, they gave up on their dreams. And it's like the worst feeling. I think 
top worst feelings in the world is like you know when you have those outspurts and you get mad at your mom by mistake like, yeah, like, you, yeah, you, yeah. like you yell like I'll do it later really? like shit yeah. like that right <laughs> and then like later when you're sleeping at night and you're like fuck I really just yelled at my mom bro those are, those, I know those that's, are the the worst. 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 that's the worst worst, worst. worst. Bro. Yeah, bro. Have yeah. you got whooped like bad by your mom, like or your parents? Yeah, bro. Nah, I got, I got a crazy one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got a crazy it, one. <laughs> I got a crazy one. Tell man. it, bro. Yo, that's because like, yo, like when I was a kid, I'm not gonna, lie, I did not listen, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did not listen. hard head, hard head. And plus, like I don't know, because like all, like all my other siblings, like like they were all good. So mm -hmm. like my mom like expected me to like be like them too, but you yeah. know I was just different. <laughs> I, oh my god! I used to do this the dumbest shit sometimes, yeah. man. Now the craziest one. I remember I was eating and I was watching SpongeBob, mm -hmm. right. and then like I was so mad already, and I remember this whooping so bad because my dad was trying to tell you something, tell me something, yeah. And then under my breath, I was like, "Fuck you!" And then oh, that's crazy. Shit, and then that's crazy. That's and no, that, that, that was the craziest one ever. <laughs> that's I remember. Fun. I remember. I think my friend was over too because I, I did that with my friend, and then like after that, oh man. Bop, bop, oh my god. That's a crazy god, one. Bro. Yeah, it was a crazy yeah, yo, one. I feel like or I, it was like either fuck you or shut up. Yeah, but uh, those two are crazy ones. I yo, wouldn't be alive, fam. Yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 yo Loki, shut, shut up might be worse, fam. Shut up, shut up might be worse. Shut up might be worse. Either one, fam. Yeah. Either one. Like, I wouldn't even, I'd probably lose a leg or some shit. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, I have this crazy story. So, yeah. one time I was playing like water, water guns with my cousin, right? Okay. And we weren't supposed to be like playing water guns for some reason. But anyways, we were. Mm. And I was. And I was shooting my cousin <laughs> with the water gun. Okay. And his shirt got all soaked. Boy. His dad came into the room. Yeah. Pissed. Why? Are you? I think no, I think they were they were trying to they're like gonna go out or something. <laughs> so he walks in, and this was indoors too. But <laughs> what, why are you playing water guns indoors, bro? This guy's a troll. A water gun indoors is crazy. No, but anyways. He walks in and he sees my cousin like soaked in his shirt. Uh huh. And he fucking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. He gets well, pissed off at my at my little co my cousin. Uh -huh. I know he didn't take the blame. No, no, no. <laughs> and then he looks at me and like, oh shit. But he can't do anything because I'm not his. You're kid. not his child. Yeah. I know. Oh. <laughs> but I knew he was pissed. Yeah. So that that moment, bro, like I was scared of him, fam. Word. Like he didn't have to. Loki, that alone scared me. Like, I was frightened enough. Yeah. <laughs> I was frightened enough. I didn't even have to be touched. I didn't even have to... Nothing had to be said. Uh, Just me seeing alone, like, traumatized me. Oh, yeah, for nah, sure. Nah, you're the worst ones that when, when you do something bad, mm -hmm. and, like, your parents are coming home, and you're waiting oh, for them, bro. You're, <laughs> wait, you're waiting for them at home. Those are the worst, bro. You're just on the couch, like, oh, fuck. Oh, my... Nah. Mentally prepared. I seen, I seen this... Um, It's like a life hack. Uh -huh. So this, this is a life hack to make your kid listen to you. So what they do, instead of actually beating their kid... They'll take a stuffed animal. So imagine you have like a stuffed animal here, right? Yeah. Right. Pretend to feed it. Boom. And then the, the stuffed animal goes, I heard, no, no, I no. Saw this. And then you beat the stuffed <laughs> animal. You beat the stuffed animal like, eat. <laughs> right? Well, and, 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 then, and then you I try. See, I see that IG. And then you try with the kid. Uh -huh. And you give it, no. <laughs> and you give it something. <laughs> <laughs> And give it, it, and then they'll take it. You know what I mean? Because they oh, see, oh shit, that's a consequence. Mm. But you don't have to inflict on them. Yeah, you, you, they're getting smarter with beating. You know exactly. But th that's why nowadays kids are so. Uh, what do you call this? Kids now. Uh, in this generation, uh -huh. like the earlier ones, they do whatever on social media because they like they don't get punished no more. But us, we're like, we had rules and shit. Like, oh, we can't do that, fam. Yeah, man. Like, there's there's some stuff that these kids do. I'm like, yo, I could yeah. never do that, bro. Like, it's mm. like it's it's like. 12 year olds moving like their 20s already. Yeah. Fam. And like, if I got caught doing that, I would definitely get like a beating. Like, Boy. you couldn't do that. Yeah. No, I remember, I remember one of the crazy, I remember me and my brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we did this, but I remember we, yo, we turned our house into a water park. Oh, my oh what the We turned our house into a water park. That's crazy. That? So, 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 me and my brothers, we went, we moved all the furniture out the way. We took water, we dumped it all on the floor. Yo. We had, a, we had a crazy slip and slide, fam. <laughs> yo. But the I thing is, that. yo, it, we did it upstairs. And at the end of the slipping side was the stairs to go downstairs. Oh, that's hard. That's oh, hard. So, so if you went too far, you're going straight down. Holy fuck. I, that's I remember we did that. And that's my, my brother, like he's the only one that had a phone. Like my yeah. oldest brother, yeah. he gets a phone call. My, my mom's like, I'm coming home in 10 minutes. <laughs> God. So yo, we had to clean that in like ten. Yo, I don't know how we did it. So bro. she we, never found out. She never found out, bro. Oh wow, she never Damn. found out. 
No, that's a crazy. Why you do that shit inside though, that, that bro? That was fun, bro. That no, because as a kid, you're not thinking, bro. That's true. Your older brother did it? <laughs> Both of them, bro. <laughs> you guys agreed on this idea. You're like, yeah, let's just do it, fam. Yo, but think, yo, we knew it was a bad idea at the start, but we still did it. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's going to give us a thrill. Yeah. Really? See, I think it's good to do bad stuff when you're a kid. Yeah. Because like, you learn from it. Like, you shouldn't. I'm, I'm not saying you guys should specifically go out and cause trouble mm. and you're just gonna be like a nuisance in the world yeah. but at least go do some daring things in your lives just so like you can say oh i've done that yeah that's true number one thing i hate is like when your your parents predict that you're gonna break something so they're like i right, keep going keep going and then you break something and, and they're like <laughs> uh i what i tell you and shit like that i hate that i actually never experienced that but you I, never I, had I, that, I could, you never had that Nah, like saying you're, you're playing uh with a hoop inside and you you're like doing too much oh. and your parents are like you're never like Oh come on, bro! You're gonna break something. Watch out! I'm warning you. And then that, you keep going, and it actually happens. Like what yeah, I tell they, you, they used to happen all the time. Like oh. your your parents would be like, "Oh, so stop jumping on the couch! Yeah, exactly. like, stop jumping on the couch! The couch is gonna break." You jump on it Word. one more time. One more time, breaks. it breaks. <laughs> Yo, it's, break, like, it's like they manifested. That's it. what I'm saying. They manifest it. <laughs> I never experienced that specifically, uh -huh. but I I have experienced like every time I'm looking for something in the fridge, my mom's like. Go look in the fridge. It's there. Uh -huh. <laughs> look inside. That shit's not there, fam. But my mo the second my mom comes in the room, mm -hmm. opens the fridge, she finds it in 0 0.2 seconds, <laughs> seconds, appears out of nowhere, bro. Holy. Like she tries that out to make sure bro. And the, the one I hate the most is gives me PTSD. Uh -huh. is when my dad is asking for tools. Oh, that's a word. When, when, <laughs> you know, you when you don't find the right one, you just feel stupid, bro. <laughs> exactly. Yo, yo, you feel like such a letdown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, like, so I have to go. First of all, I don't uh, know why he doesn't go himself because he knows exactly what he needs. Uh, he sends me to go get it. So I'm looking through all of the tools, bro. You know how much fucking screwdrivers we have? We have bare screwdrivers. So I'm looking through all of them. Like, okay, now I know which one. Now what size? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, the sizes fuck me up, bro. So I have to fucking. And then w if I pick the wrong one, I go back downstairs, and it's a walk. It's a walk of shame. Yeah. So I have to walk downstairs. <laughs> wrong size. Walk I back up. You, <laughs> you take the next one. Oh wrong my size god, again. bro. It's actually terrible. Nah. So what I've learned every single time I get tools now, huh. just bring the I, whole I bring box. The whole bring shit, that's what I need to do too. I bring the whole. I, I did the exact same thing. <laughs> I give them options, bro. And and at one point, I remember I hid it in my in my in my pants. Uh. So. I gave him one size, like no wrong size. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> wrong size. I got one more for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I was like that kid, you know, in in recess that show recess. Oh uh, yeah, who had all the tools, they had all the gadgets. There, yeah. Oh, another thing, in everything all at once, mm. a little blooper or like a little e Easter egg that Mans didn't know about. So you know when um Stephanie Sue is it Sue? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Stephanie Sue when she. Mm puts her arm out and all the things are changing. So it's like a, a fork, a wrench, a uh, thing. Like, remember, it's yeah, all changing? Because yeah, yeah. she's going through different dimensions. One of them was actually a Grammy. So if you stopped, it was actually oh, a Grammy. And she but manifested that. No, the only one that tracks. was that was uh, blacklisted, I mean, that wasn't picked for a Grammy in that movie was her. Oh, Wait, yeah. a Grammy? Yeah. She makes music? No, no, Oscar. Oh, no, no, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, yo, fam, like, my bad, my bad. It was an Oscar, Oscar. I keep mixing those up, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Be crazy. She, 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 she makes a track? <laughs> Stephanie Sue. Nah, yo, but I think about, yo, yo, we have to have a jumper jump freestyle one time, fam. Oh, yeah. 100%. A cypher? Oh, we yeah. need to have a cypher. I, I used to cypher with all my cousins, like, back you? then. You? Yeah, yeah I no way, bro. That's crazy. I used to cypher. No, back, back when, um... Uh, what's the one? Me metal to his face, like Colin Brace face. What, what's that? What's that? What's that beat called? It was like a challenge. Oh, the the mm, vine challenge. The mm, mm. Yeah. We used to hit that shit. <laughs> no, this would get fucked. Uh, so me and my cousin used to do it, uh, but we would we would diss the rest of the family. Oh my God. Nah, that's God. crazy. A family diss track is wild. Uh, <laughs> but just as track. jokes. <laughs> just as jokes though, right? Like we mm. make like inside jokes and shit. Yeah. At one point though, oh man. One time we were, saying, we were saying some shit and somebody walked into the room and heard no us way, bro. Bro. What the fuck? and we didn't notice cause we're too into it. Yeah. Cause you know when you're too into something with your homies, uh, you, you, yo, I feel like we forget other people around. Yeah, low key. Like we forget how loud you are too. Yeah, like low key. Mm. Yo, I remember one time, I remember me and Nizel were making a track in the library. Mm. Uh, but first of all, that's the worst place to make a track. Oh yeah. Like, like, track that's first of all. But I remember, yo, our, we were making this track and our, the bars was completely garbage. Yeah. Actually, yo, these two girls pulled up to us mid-track while we're making it. 
and it was hella cringe, man. Oh my god. It was god. hella cringe. What yo. do you say? Like, what do you say when they pull up? Like, what are you guys doing? Can I hear it? Yo, what if they hit you? Wait, can I hear it? Damn, did they ask us that? I, I, yo, I told them, I'm like, yo, the, the song's not done yet. <laughs> like, like, it's not done. <laughs> it's not done. It was like two days. <laughs> no. At least you tried, fam. Bro, yeah. Honestly, honestly, wh- whatever age you are, try everything, fam. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Cause cause even if it's shit, the next one's better. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> no, it should like you should always improve no matter what. Yeah, the next one should be better. Yeah. But what when do you tell a man to stop? That's a good question. That's a good question. Like <laughs> imagine he's five years, same thing. That's a great question. Yeah. Cause I, I always ask myself that too. Like what uh, when is it? <sighs> no, nah, like if a man hasn't improved over five years, <laughs> come on, you, you gotta tell him. Do you uh, throw in the towel? You, or you gotta like, throw in the towel. After five years, you haven't got better? That's but what if, what if on that sixth year he finally breaks I do like it? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know, bro. Because all of a sudden he can have like... Because somebody can change tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, like They can change like at a second like that. Yeah, somebody can change tomorrow. And we can't really tell them like how their journey is going to play out, right? Yeah. So honestly, like I, I feel like it's not your... It's not your... It's not your place to say. Mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. For, for some people... Okay, if, it, if it's your people, best friend. If it's your best friend. If it's my best friend? Yeah. Like I, I feel like I'll have to like slowly tell him, like, like I, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't tell him like directly, but I'll be like, yo, like the song's fire, but like you might have to work on this a little bit more. Mm. And so like every like time, hints. like I, I, I'll add like something else. <laughs> Would you ever snap on and be like, yo, this is just garbage? Like pick something else. Uh, I, I can't do that. Bro. I think I, you I can't have to be like real friend. You say this is. Have you ever shit. done that to somebody? No, I've done no, that to I somebody. You, you done that to someone? I have. But yo, like if you do that, like that's real, fam. Yeah, like, that, that's some real stuff. Yeah. Like I would want someone to do that to me. Exactly. Like you gotta be real with me. But some people aren't real though. Some people like yeah, themselves. Okay, yeah. Some people aren't real to themselves. Mm, that that too. So that if too. some people aren't real to themselves, can you be real to them? Damn, that's deep. Oh fuck. Loki, even if you tell them the truth, I don't think they'll take it like that. Now check me out. What if what if that's how it works, right? What if somebody if they're fake to themselves, then people to people are gonna be fake to them as well. That's like what you conjure up. Mm. Yeah, that's true. So me being real, people will be real to me. Yeah. But me being fake, people be people fake to me be because fake you're you. fake. And honestly, that's how it would work anyway. Let's say I create a space that's fake, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. People inside yeah. of it, their reactions may be true to what I made, but it's still a fake reaction because the whole thing was fake anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so okay. the whole thing itself is fake because it's not But like if it was reality. fake anyways, then like it's, it's always going to be fake. Yeah, so yeah. the reaction. Like no matter what they say, is going to be fake. Mm-hmm. It may be a true reaction, mm-hmm. but the whole thing is fake itself. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Right? I don't know. Like, like some people, you just got to tell them, man. You yeah. just got to tell them. Because it's like it, it gets to a point where like, I, I don't want to say this. Or like, like they're, they're going into this dream. But they're using like so much resources to do it, and they're not getting better. And like, it's gonna be like, like a whole downward spiral. So, okay, so, so, so it's kind of like you have to save them. All right. There's some people you have to <laughs> save at some point, bro. I right, hear me out. This is what I would do personally. Uh-huh. I would at least give them some some tips and pointers on what to do next. This is the best way to do it. Like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. That that song was kind of ass, but you're good at basketball. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, like, yo, a, like a yo, you're, you're singing group? basketball though. <laughs> no, that that's low key smart though because it's oh, like yeah. if they're not gonna listen to music advice, shit. I know, yo, yo, play ball, man. Pick up a ball, pick up a ball. <laughs> yo, that song was ass, but you're sick at tennis. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, it, yo, that sounds proper the way you say it, fam. Yeah, yeah. Someone said that to it's me. It's like a sandwich. You gotta but you're sick at tennis, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember okay. when I used to do um, I used to have to make report cards when I was a, a swim instructor, oh, okay. and we had to do report cards on like if whether they not they failed the test. Mm. So when we we're making the report cards, there was like criteria and almost a format we had to write the test in. We put. Oh, you did great this lesson or this test, blah blah blah. Yeah. Then you put then you put what's wrong, but you need to do this. You need to fix up on your arms here, there. Uh. Your legs need to be a bit higher. And then at the end, but keep striving. You're gonna get there the next class. Mm. You're gonna get better the next time. So it's that it's that sandwich. It's like you're really good at this. Oh. Uh. You gotta work on this shit. Yeah. But next class you're gonna get it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I'm too nice to do that because remember also you said. In acting class that you're taking, yeah, actors like the realest actors are the ones who can be truthful with themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's mm. like, fuck. If I'm not like, sometimes like I catch myself not being truthful to myself. How mm. can I be an actor? Like that's mm. crazy. Yeah. So when I started taking acting lessons, Josh. Yeah. It's so much of it's not acting. 
it's literally you're just feeling. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you're literally just feeling. You're not trying to play. A character, a character you're actually just that character mm. at that moment okay so like you, you're I, okay i get what you're saying like you're saying so let's say you you're uh like you're not trying to act like him like you're trying to like be like him be yeah, trying to yeah. Be, like, be him basically. yeah let's say you get casted as a space cowboy you don't know what the fuck a space cowboy would think mm. but if i put that space cowboy in a place where he can feel depression maybe you can know what depression could feel like. Oh, okay. You know I, I mean, see, I see what you're so you're not tackling on what a space cowboy would feel like. You're tackling on what Josh would feel like mm. in that moment. Facts. I, I, I see Josh in every happy role, bro. Yeah. Like imagine Josh in a sad role. I couldn't see yo, that. Yo, yo, you know, it's crazy. I feel uh, like if I were to do movies, I would, I would want to be the villain. Really? I would want to be the villain for you're sure, happy bro. happy to be a villain, I, I, I want to be the most, villain, I want to be a, Menace. That's what I want to be. He, he, the closest thing would be Deadpool because he's like a villain, but he's still like funny he in a way. Jokes. Yeah. Well, there's been some funny villains out there. Yo, I want to be like Thanos or something. I want to be. No, that's <laughs> Josh is bro, Thanos. I, that's what I want to be. I don't know. I feel like you're too kind, Loki. I don't know, bro. He's only saying that because when the camera comes out, Loki black. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos is black, bro. Yo, any off color character is black, bro. If you're purple, dark green, you are black. I'm telling you, dark blue, you you, you must be black, bro. That's the only so reason they have I a pass. That. They have a pass. I'm telling you, they, they, oh, for sure. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> for sure, bro. I'm for sure. Yo. Oh my god, bro. Thanos has a pass, man. Piccolo has a pass. Piccolo, I'm Piccolo. telling you, Piccolo. My god, man, I swear he has a white do rag on. Oh, Piccolo. <laughs> Yo, is there any characters, fictional characters, you think would are Asian, are like Asian? Color? Asian. Low key. Maybe this is just because they made it. Uh, Jake Long. Pokemon, bro. Ash? Pokemon is. Like, like, by po- I think no, but is. like. I, I, I think about like Ash or like actual Pokemon. No, I'm saying I'm like Pokemon is so. Now oh, hear me right, on right, Pokemon. Right, yeah. yeah. I, feel, I feel like like Pikachu, he could speak Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get me though? Like, look at a Pokemon. Oh. Like, I feel like they can speak oh, some no, Asian get, language. You know what I mean? Oh, Blastoise. Uh, uh, Blastoise? Charizard. Blastoise definitely has a Japanese accent. No, no. I, I can see that. Blastoise? I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> What's Charizard? What what is I, he? I, I can see him speaking like Mandarin or something. <laughs> no. I, Charizard? I, I, I can, I can he, Charizard that. might be Filipino still. Charizard? Filipino <laughs> 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 fam. Charizard might be Filipino. Now, you know who's uh thing? Um, Who's that rock character? Oh, no, no, it's Mr. Machop. Machop. No, M- Machop is black, oh, Machop? bro. <laughs> nah, he's black. <laughs> he's black. He's black. Yo, yo, no, no, the one that's black? Yo, you remember, remember Jinx? Jinx, Jinx. Oh, Jinx. Yo, Jinx. They, they had to they had to take her out of the show, eh? Yeah, because it was too, oh, like, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was stereotypical. Yo, that happened with a Dragon Ball Z character, Mr. Popo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The same thing. They, they had to change yo, yo, it. Yo, he was black and they turned him blue. Word. Oh, oh yeah, yeah like Jinx yeah, was blue. she was black too, but she they turned her purple. Yo, well, nah, blue, black was better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know the the Nurse Joy theory? Was that how she's actually a shiny Pokemon? How oh, she's not yeah. actually human? No, nah, I heard about that one. You have? Wait, wait, shiny so, Pokemon. So a shine a uh, Pokemon is like it has different like, ev- like what do you call this? They're the same, but there's also shiny versions. Mm-hmm. If you look in Pokemon, there's different versions of Nurse Joy. For like each region, oh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, like, yeah, there's, yeah. Like, there's like a, a different. There's a black nurse joy. Uh-huh. There's a thing. There's a uh, uh, white nurse joy. There's a beige one, and they're all the same. So, what is the shiny version of nurse joy? Some people are saying the black version is the shiny version. That's a shiny version. Nah, I've been seeing that. Version. Same with Officer Jenny's then, because all yeah. Officer Jenny's are all the same too. Mm-hmm. Loki, Officer Jenny's kind of bad, fam. I can see. I can see why Brock was hidden on all of them, fam. <laughs> I can see why Brock was hidden. Josh would play Brock in a real life. Oh, yeah, 100. I, 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 I He's love damn near the same. I, I, I love, in love live action, Brock. in live action. I, I, I would love to be Brock, bro. Josh got the eyes for <laughs> 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 You know, for the longest time, Gavin didn't know your, your part Chinese. Yeah. You cool. didn't know that, man? I, I, on a podcast. Oh, no, I didn't think we, like, after the podcast, he's like, oh. yo, you know Josh's thing, all right? He's like, what? Yeah, yo, I'm part Chinese, bro. What the hell? Yo, heck? every time I tell the people, they always think I'm lying. Yeah, they that's They always insane. think I'm lying, bro. That's insane. Because I was like, wait, so... Part Chinese, you're Chinese? Yeah, yeah. They, they all, on my dad's side. On your dad's side. On my dad's side, yeah. <laughs> what the? F- no, but then you know it's crazy? Because I didn't know that, but once he showed me a picture again, like, <laughs> yo, I yo, could, it's like one of those things where I couldn't unsee. Yo, come on, you like, if you see pictures of me when I was younger, like yeah. as a kid, like, you, you can definitely see it, bro. You can, you can definitely see it. <laughs> you can definitely see it. That's why Josh is so good at speaking Chinese, bro. You Tell speak him, Josh. Chinese? Oh. <laughs> I'm not trying to get canceled. <laughs> Big chilling. Big chilling. 
Digga, Bing chilling. 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 If you had the option to have subtitles in real life, would you want it? <laughs> subtitles. Loki, that's fire. You know why? I go to Japan, I don't even need a translator. Exactly. Oh, that's, true, bro. that's so true. How crazy would life be if everything was subtitled, yes, bro? bro? Every single language you can read it in English. That would be kind of hard. That's fire. Now, I think we're only like maybe two years away from that shit. Because if Wait, we what? get. Bro, from oh, having subtitles? Like a Google if glass. we get like a Google Glass. Two years away from having subtitles? Yeah, no, think about it, think about it. So we can already translate shit on Google Uh, Translate, just hearing, right? We're not too far away from putting that that shit on our eyes, Mm. camera reading, hearing, and then just giving us like a blip at the bottom, like blah, 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 blah. Oh, he said, have a great day today. You know? Yo, that actually solved so much problems, bro. Facts. That will solve so many problems. But that will also take a lot of people with jobs that do this like translator stuff Mm -hmm. away. That's That sucks. I mean, eventually. I know. Eventually. Like, yeah, eventually he's going to die down. But, yo, if I have that, I can see if Mads are speaking smack. Yeah. What do you I mean? Can, like, but, like, I, I, can, I can see if, like, Mads are, like, talking about me, like, in a different language. Oh, They're talking shit I mean, about you. Because, nah, you, you, like, my, my parents, like, they speak, like, another language. And, like, I don't really, mad. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, like, I, I don't really understand it that much. But, like, I hear my name. So I'm like, yo, yo, what are oh, they talking about here? I'm like, yo, yo, what are they saying? Yo. Wait, you don't understand your thing? No, nah, not really. Really? Yeah, no, nah, not really. What do really. they speak, actually? They speak like, uh, it's like like St. Lucian Creole. Oh. So, like, so, like, it, it's, it has like a lot of like French in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I understand like the French words, but yeah. like not like the other words. Mm. Do you know any um urban legends from St. Lucian? Like, did you see any sh- weird shit when you went? Oh, urban legends. Well, tell us bro. about the treasure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> man, I don't know about this. But yo, when I just went to St. Lucia, yeah. like I went to like our my, my family's like home. Okay. Like the place where like everybody grew up. Mm. And my uncle, like he he lived there like all his life. Like he's still there like right now. Yeah. And he was telling me that we have like a secret treasure, like buried like in this area. What the fuck? And w- when I seen him, like my, my uncle, like he's like the most like primitive like person out there. Yo, I seen the video, like, bro. <laughs> like like he, he he lives in the forest, like in a tree, in, like a tree hut. <laughs> like he, he lives like, in the tree. Comes hut. Down, yo, what's up, Josh? Like, he comes. I, I remember I came up to him. He took a rock and he, he started drawing the map, like on another piece of rock. That's crazy. And like he was like putting down like all the coordinates, and he's like, "Yeah, like over here, like this is where all like the family treasure is." That's oh. nobody ever found it. So he drew it out for you. Yeah, like he he drew it out. You Loki should have just took that rock and just tried to start <laughs> yo, solving yo, that shit. Jump, oh. Jumpers vlog, yo, that'd be oh. crazy. Jumpers vlog looking nah, for that'd treasure, be crazy. Yeah. We'll look for that treasure for you, fam. Uh huh. And like, I don't know. Like, there's other thing because, like, uh, like when, when like when my grandparents like passed away, mm-hmm. like uh, their their coffin was like in like this place. But then, like a few years ago, like they went back and it was missing. Oh shit! So now, like, is like that's a whole other treasure hunt too, fam. Yeah. Damn, do you think from like grave robbers or no? Nah, not even. Like everything just like disappeared. It just disappeared. Like just disappeared. The fuck? Yo, what if they just lost track of? Where things are, well, like it's possible because like it's in like the most remote area. Like, yeah, it's literally on top of a mountain, like in the jungle. Because I can imagine things grow over. Oh yeah. Because I heard, I heard before that the reason they didn't know about all of these ancient, you know, uh, the Amazon. Yeah. They had fucking full cities like the size of Toronto, in the jungle. All of that shit got covered flooded, over. Yeah. And then they only started finding it when they started taking that shit down. Mm-hmm. And revealing everything. But there could be even more than just one city. They haven't even uncovered everything. Yeah. That's like, why the hollow earth theories are like, mm-hmm. oh, is that the hollow earth? Like, they just all sunk down. Yeah. Like, no, like, I remember know. back. I used to think that there's, there's, that there's something buried underneath my house. Like, there's like, I have those too, bro. Um, there's something about our neighborhood that just makes me feel like that. No, because our neighborhood, yo, our neighborhood <laughs> is actually an Indian burial ground. Right. Wait, did I ever tell you this ghost story? No, nah, which, which one? What so, remember Rollins? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you never told me this. I, I actually I thought I told you, you know? No. Uh-huh. So we have this restaurant in the Oaks. It's mm-hmm. called Roland's. Before it, they don't have it there anymore. Mm-hmm. But it was pretty much just like West Indian food, right? And this guy that worked there, he told my mom this story how he was just I think he was getting ingredients from downstairs and going back upstairs, like dropping back in the kitchen, going back downstairs, getting more ingredients. Uh-huh. And he was walking up the stairs. And he heard something at the bottom, right? And he looked and was like, okay, nothing there, right? Mm-hmm. So he walks up to the top. Now, he's the only person in the restaurant, puts down the ingredients, 
and someone pushes him down the stairs. Oh, Nobody's <laughs> there. Nobody's there, but he feels somebody push him. Uh-huh. And he falls down and he has to go to the hospital. Uh-huh. And he has to. <laughs> that ghost is a troll, fam. Yo, dead ass. Like, he fell, he got hurt, and he had to go to the hospital. And he had to get, like, fixed up, bro. <laughs> Wait, oh, is this a real story? It's a real oh, story. Oh, shit. My fault. <laughs> No, this is a real story. And then he had to get like uh, physiotherapy and everything, bro. Oh, fuck. What but the hell? Wait, so that happened at the restaurant? <laughs> it's either at the restaurant or his house. From, from my memory, it's the restaurant. I was young when he was, was saying the story. He got though. pushed down the stairs, bro? Yeah. My I ghost. Can just imagine the ghost uh, like being bored and just. Now, <laughs> now, he did like research on it. Uh, and he wanted to find out okay, why is, there, is this actually haunted? Is this place actually haunted? Mm-hmm. And he found out, yeah, that whole area was. Uh, Indian burial ground. The whole area? Like, specifically, you know, the plaza? Yeah, yeah. So, you know how there's, like, a grave nearby uh, on the way? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the reason they have those graves there is because there was even more burials around it. But those were, like, the the ancient uh, mm-hmm. native ones. Oh, so, like, that, that's what we built over. So, they built the other cemetery beside it yeah no you can't fuck with that because my cousin also had a crazy story where so this was in the philippines Mm -hmm. his mom got a new phone like straight off like i don't know who sold it to her but it was kind of like sketchy right Mm -hmm. and they live on an ancient like where all the people get buried yeah so boom this is what happens the mom takes the phone i mean the kid takes the phone and he's like can i play some games on it the mom's like nah 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 i don't like I need it. But he, the kid was so like persistent. He's like, no, let, let me just take it to sleep so I can sleep better. Mom's like, okay, just don't call anyone, right? The kid goes to sleep with the phone. The mom was like, okay, it's getting late. I need the phone back. Knocks on the kid's door. So he's like, where the fuck is the kid? He's not in the room, mm-hmm. right? But he's actually in the mom's bed. She's like, okay, okay, let me get the phone. You go back in the bed. Fam, there's a picture that my cousin showed me. The, the mom was scrolling through what he was doing. What was there's it? a photo. He took a selfie. Yeah. And there's a woman no. at the corner. At the corner. In the like, picture? Yeah. In the, yeah, That's in the picture. Fucked. That this is in the Philippines, fam. That's fucked. Wait, so like, yeah. did the people, like, did he know that woman? Like, did that woman look like I, familiar I, that's, or that's the only thing that they told me. But I'm pretty sure that woman in the picture was someone who died on that, that burial ground. Damn. I don't know why. Like, I feel Damn. like ghosts and spirits, like, they connect more to kids than, like, out, like adults. Yeah. No, it's because kids see shit that we can't, I feel like. You know why? Just fluoride. This guy just debunked the That's it, fluoride. <laughs> That's it, fluoride. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But there's, a, there's another story. Mm. So, I was at the mall. Uh-huh. And there's this guy that works at the T-shirt arcade. Uh-huh. So, he he's actually from Oaks. Oh, oh in, in a way. Now, check this out. He was telling me this story. And... Apparently there's um there's another burial site uh-huh. nearby the forest in Major Oaks, right? Yeah. But I I never seen it. I actually never been. He's telling me they call it like the fuck, I forget what they call it. It's like the warlock grave. That's what they call it. Warlock grave. They call it the warlock grave. But obviously it's their generation. They're much older than us. So when they were kids, they would go check it out. Now they'll fuck around and just like go check it out. Oh, it's spooky, blah, blah, blah. But his friend came with him one time. And he was like disrespecting the grave. Mm, you can't like, do that. That's the worst thing to do. He's disrespecting it and he's like, yeah, blah, blah, this is bullshit. Blah. Yeah. And he pulled down his pants. He what? took a piss oh, wow. on the grave. <laughs> Bro, he was telling me not a week later, he got into an accident mm. and he ended up in a wheelchair. The rest oh, of his ain't life. no way that happened. See, that's bro. that's you just did that the, to yourself. The, the, that's though. crazy. Though, bro. That's did he know that that was an ancient burial ground and he still did it or no? Because they they know it's like a burial ground, uh-huh. yes, uh-huh. but they don't know anything else about it. They're just, they're just goofing off. They're mm-hmm. giving their own lore. Uh, of course, there's definitely yeah. like other lore that they made up and added to it. Uh-huh. But fam, he really did that. <laughs> that's so messed up. Do, do you think? No, nah, okay. They, this is kind of weird, but it's like. Say you did that, you piss, but you didn't know it was an ancient burial ground. Do ghosts like decide whether it's like, should we fuck that guy up? Yo, do you know what's crazy? That, that actually happened to me. What? That actually happened to me once. What do you mean? I remember it, it was, I, I was like, I, I, was at, I was at the bluffs. Yeah. After I went, I took a piss. And after, yo, my friend's like, yo, 
you're peeing on like a grave or something. No like that. way. The, oh yeah. I but think the thing is, like, it was pitch black. Like I didn't see anything. Exactly. So it was like and that's where I went and like yo, this grave was like from like 1800s. Yeah. Like, it was like Shit. from like way way back. Oh, fuck. Did and something bro- happen to you? No, I yo, I remember that 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 same day. Mm. Like we were we were, like we were uh, like walking through like the like the trail. Yeah. That's where like my foot like it got it got grabbed. Like, oh. it, 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 it got it got grabbed in like uh, it was like quicksand. What like the it f- went it grabbed my foot. <laughs> Actually, yo, like I was stuck there for like half an hour. What the fuck? Wait, what? Like Whoa. half an hour, bro. Chill. Like, like, this dead ass? Yo, I, I was it was I, I was by myself too. Like all my friends were gone. Nah. I was nah, by, my, that's I was crazy, by that's myself. Crazy, that's crazy. What the that's fuck? Boring. In the bluffs. <laughs> In the bluffs, bro. Dude, did you just take your shoe off? I'm like, bro, I couldn't. Cause like, yo, like if this was like my whole leg. Like it got like, like almost shit. like a quarter of my whole leg. This guy got swallowed, like bro. It actually got stuck, bro. <laughs> and it was cold too. I was brisk, bro. No, I, I would be scared br- for my and, life. And there were new shoes. I just got my, uh-huh, my new boy. black Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> my new black Air Force Ones, bro. GG's, bro. That story, that reminds me of the Denzel story. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> so we were at this party. You uh-huh. know B Joy? Oh, yeah, B Joy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know this story. <laughs> <laughs> so we have DJ. It's like a, it's like a, a party, right? Uh, it's, it's like, it's a, like bu- a, bu- a, it's a bush, bush party. party. It's a bush party. So we had to walk through the forest, and then we we end up at this like, it's in like an abandoned <laughs> bunker, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> and they had a DJ booth or whatever. It's outside, bare mosquitoes, blah, blah blah. They had a fire pit. Me, Denzel, Josh, pull up. We're just chilling. We're chilling, right? And. The DJ booth is on the top of the bunker, this like big concrete building. Now we walk up, we're chilling on the top. Mm. And at, at some point we got bored. Uh-huh. And then it's like, yo, let's cut, blah, blah, blah. Let's cut. <laughs> Denzel fam. So it keep in mind it's kind of dark, right? <laughs> Denzel's ready to cut. He walks off the side <laughs> of the fucking bunker and we looked inside. I'm not gonna lie, the grass, it looked like it wasn't that far of a jump. It did not look that bad, bro. <laughs> it didn't look that bad. I like the bunker, it's like two meters high at least. Yeah, the bunker's not that tall. Uh, <laughs> Denzel stepped off the thing. <laughs> bro, disappeared. <laughs> Yo, Denzel jumped, he, his whole body disappeared. He <laughs> went to. <laughs> the grass was that tall, bro. <laughs> that dog got swallowed, bro. I mean, me and Carlos were dying, bro. We couldn't even help him up because we were crying of laughter. I was trying to help him up, bro. I was, I was crying. <laughs> all, I, all, I, all I hear was Denzel. <laughs> No, the way he got swallowed was wild. Yo. But, yo, but to be honest, that grass did not look that high. The grass didn't yeah. look that yeah. high. Did not I look understand that high. it though. I don't even blame him because if I went first, that would have been me. No. A dead ass would have been me. It was just Denzel Wait, went first. Did he, did he make any sounds like when he hit the ground? <laughs> yo, I think he made a noise. You know what? You know the noise? You know when you're playing Minecraft and you jump off yeah. something high? <laughs> 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 Guys, he's buckled, bro. Yo. No, but he actually disappeared, fam. It's like he jumped. He jumped into a base. Yo, like, and, no. and like Denzel's a tall guy too. Denzel's, oh, tall, Denzel, bro. Denzel's a tall guy, bro. Denzel's a he's tall, a tall guy. guy fam. That covered his whole body. Oh, yeah, absolutely that's absolutely wild. That's I, I remember the walk, the walk back. He, I never seen Denzel walk that fast in his life, bro. <laughs> he was ready to go home. Yo, and there's there's some things there too. Oh, not yeah, in front there. of the baddies. <laughs> not in front of the baddies. That, that's a worries, bro. Uh. Yo, yo, have, have, have you ever had a moment like that where like you did something crazy in front of the baddies? Yeah, like, the baddies? That's something embarrassing. Yes, bro, fam. I remember. Oh my god, bro. I remember my te- history teacher made me laugh so much that I fucking farted in class. Like, I was, <laughs> like imagine, <laughs> imagine the class and I'm in the middle. <laughs> like you hear that shit, and somebody, somebody made um. I think the history teacher made a joke about it. Be like, yo, I made you laugh so much, like I. Fucking you made you fart. Yeah, made you L man's bro. And like, yo, the girl, every, Damn. every girl was in that class, bro. It was bad. What? It was L- bad. At that point, it's like, I want to leave class. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Yeah. At that point, fam, if the teacher's making fun of you, yes. you can't do anything. You can't. Know you took like, it wasn't that bad until someone, the teacher yeah, said something. Yeah, why the fuck? When the teacher, he has authority, bro. Facts. Anything goes. If the teacher said, 
he could have switched the topic, anything, oh, it would have been fine. Oh, the, but the fact he he stayed on that thing, the everybody's that, attention goes to yeah. that thing. The fact that he pointed that out. Exactly, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah. He's, he's trying to be Dave Chappelle that night, though. Exactly. Like, okay, we get it. You're funny, fam. Like, oh, my gosh. Nah, yeah, I'm not going to. I had a story like that, too, bro. Uh -huh. I, I had a crazy story like that. Oh, this one was bad, bro. What happened? It was bad. Oh, I, I remember. Like, I was at, like, this church group. Okay. After, I remember, like. Wait, Edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I wasn't there. I wasn't okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. Because I remember, I remember, okay, I remember I went there. Like, I had a crush, like, on, the, on like some of the girls there. You know, yeah, you yeah. know like, you're, we're, like, younger. Yeah. So, there's one point where, like, they took us all to, like, like the church, like the actual church place. Mm -hmm. And everybody was in the front of the church and I was all the way in the back. Okay. So like I was by myself and like everybody's like at the front mm -hmm. and like, they're like praying, you know, they're uh -huh. praying and everything. And bro, when I tell you, I let out the biggest fart of my <laughs> bro, life, <I'm> bro. <laughs> the biggest fart of my <laughs> life. And the whole place was quiet and that shit just echoed. That shit clapped across the whole oh church, bro. Oh my God. And then everybody started looking back. <laughs> and everyone, everyone looked back at me, fam. And the thing is, yo, do you know what I did? I looked back too. <laughs> but behind me was an empty wall. There was no one behind me. It was just a wall. <laughs> w. That's a dummy. It was just a wall. Bro. I would have done the same shit, bro. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Everyone. <laughs> yo. Yo, the church acoustics too, bro. The church, it was clapping, <laughs> bro. It was just clapping. You heard the echo, the, fam. The, oh, that, that, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. No, bro. I think the funniest. Have you seen those those TikToks where they they spray fart spray before people go in the oh, elevator? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Then, I remember there was one with like three babies. They're like pushing in a car, and then even the babies were like, <laughs> the, the babies are questioning if that was them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, I seen the one where like they, they had the first spray and like they sprayed on the mic and they asked the man the question. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> that's so fucked. If that's terrorism, bro. That's just gotta be terrorism. <laughs> that's just not allowed, man. Yo. Oh my yo, god. But there's no way you can smell that bad though. That no, first spray. Far, fart spray is crazy. The first spray? So fart spray is good. I seen the worst one, bro, where they sprayed it in the elevator, and then the guy who walked in was a guy on a wheelchair, like, and the guy it immediately felt bad after. Because uh. the guy as soon as the door opened, he tried his hardest to get <laughs> Damn. Dude, that's kind of wild, man. Oh my have god. Have you ever said a joke about somebody while somebody in the room could have been offended? Oh, Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Loki. Yeah. Loki, Loki. Bro, I, I Loki said one of those. Oh I, I can't even say it on here, fam. Yeah. It's actually bad. I, I, I can't even say it on here. It's actually bad, 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 bro. <laughs> it's actually bad. No, but is that same? Is that same energy as like you said something bad about your mom, or like you uh. you disrespected your mom or dad, but didn't mean to? Yeah. Uh. I mean, in the moment, you're yeah. trying to like you know say something, but. Fuck, it just didn't work oh, out that yeah. way. Or like the crazy one I seen is like when someone's talking about someone and like they're right behind them. Oh, that's fucked. Yo, I, I seen that happen. It's so awkward. It's what so the bad. Fuck? Cause the person behind them, like they act like, like they didn't hear anything. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. so bad. That's Dude, bad, that happened bro. in class one time. I think I was in class with you. Wait, when? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say it on here. Yeah, I don't want to say it on here. But I remember like somebody was talking shit, and you can see the guy go like this. That's the worst, man. Oh, I feel bad, bro. And sometimes somebody, like, some of my homies will be too loud and say something. Yeah. Bro, Denzel. Bro. Oh, my gosh. But at that point, it's like, okay, if you see someone in line, right, and you're you're the one getting talked shit about, what do you do? Do you, like, you personally, would you scrap? Would you be like, yo, what's up, bro? No, if it was, it was something disrespectful, because uh -huh. that's just how I am, though. Yeah. I'll address it. Mm. I'll address it, especially, like, if it's somebody I want to be respected by. Yeah, yeah. If it's somebody I don't care about, then who cares? Fuck you. Mm. I don't even know what I'll do, man. Yeah. Because... At some point, we have to realize if you're going to address something that somebody disrespected you, mm -hmm. do you care about that person, first of all? Like, for me, okay, like, if they're saying something disrespectful to me, but, like, if I low-key know it's true, mm -hmm. then, like, I wouldn't really say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, no, like, for, if, like, if it's something that's, like, like that's fake, then, like, I'll, I'll, I'll like, speak up. I'll be like, no, nah, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Not for me, it's different. If it's a stranger, uh -huh. let's slide. Okay. Let us slide. But if somebody I know, then it's different. Mm. Because of that, that's betrayal right there. Bro. Exactly. Fight or that, fight, that's yeah. a crazy betrayal. Fight or fight, okay. If it's someone that's a stranger that doesn't know me, uh -huh. right. Let it go, they yeah. don't know me. They don't know me. But if somebody that I know, that's different. Mm. Because they actually know me. They know me on a personal level. And for uh -huh. them to say something like that, true. I mean, that, that's, that's okay, okay. betrayal. I got a question then. 
So um, I remember we were at the club one time. Yeah. And my boy was doing some dumb shit like over there in the booth. And this was at the door three, right? Uh. So my my friend Ethan, he was like fucking with this other guy who was going into their booth, taking their ice and shit like that. And mm. he got pushed around. So that's my boy, right? Mm-hmm. Would you guys, if he started getting like jumped and I jumped in too, would you fight for my boy too? Or no? Us? Yeah, or yeah, like, your boy? Would I fight for your boy? Yeah, so, so it's like, so I jump in uh. and for my boy, would you jump in with me after? Like, I feel like it's debatable it, still. Yeah, that's why it's like a good question. question. Like, I feel like if I'm jumping in, like, I'm not jumping in for your boy. Like, I'm jumping yeah, in for you. Yeah, we're jumping in for you. Exactly. It's more like I'm riding out for you and, like, okay. not really your boy. Makes yeah, sense, yeah, makes exactly, sense. exactly. That's what I'm saying it's debatable because it's like, because you, you made the choice to go, to jump, oh, go okay. handle him. Yeah. Yeah. Me. It's kind of like a chain reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if you made the choice to go handle, then you should be able to handle. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But if you can't, and then, like, Shit go south then oh, fuck yeah, I no guess way. so. But like if it was like just your boy like on his ones, yeah. yeah. Like uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna hop in. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not getting jumped for that. I'm not getting jumped for that, bro. This it, was, it was crazy because <laughs> I knew it was bad because I was looking at the scenario and mm. then I looked at you guys both and what were you guys were doing if you guys were paying attention to the scenario because that determines if I was gonna jump in. Oh, if, if you guys, if you guys were clueless of what's going on, I'm not jumping in. Like you guys yeah. have to know that I'm jumping That's true, in. <laughs> It depends how much you really like that person. Yeah. Because sometimes you can just pretend you weren't even... Mm. What are they going to say? They're going to debate you. Oh, you didn't see? Yeah. I, I didn't see, bro. <laughs> I see I nothing. Know. I'll yeah. turn it up. That yeah. makes sense. Oh, makes yo, sense. but it's like, how long do you have to know someone for you to jump in? Oh. I had to share food with you. Share food? Yeah. That could be the first time you see them, fam. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. Low key? That's it? That's it, yeah. If, if I share food with somebody... No, like share food, not not we eat together. We share food. Okay, so it's okay, like, yeah. okay, I get that. So I, I'm thinking like one year max. I know them. Yeah, How like, are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like one year max. Yeah. But for for me to get jumped for them, <laughs> no, no, no. Here we go. I'm about to need a year, bro. <laughs> no, listen, 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 listen. listen. <laughs> to get jumped, you know, it doesn't even have to have like a time. I just said share food. No, if I, I meet if meet homie in like an hour, uh, and give me half of his sandwich. Oh, okay, I get I'll that. hop in, bro. That Damn. quick. That quick, bro? I told you, there's something about sharing food. Uh huh. The bond is made. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay, maybe I'll hop in, but like it depends, like how bad the situation is. You can't I, tell it, me it, I'm it, wrong, it though. How, it depends how bad. You're not wrong. You're not. Listen, wrong. listen. If somebody gives you half their Kit Kat, uh huh. Yo, you're jumping in. Are you not? Oh, maybe not a Kit Kat. I don't. A dinner. It has to be a That's dinner, it, fam. fam. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> you know, like a, a, a random man can just give me that, fam. No, but I mean, like, it has to be like a moment, you know, like a moment. Like, you uh-huh. know, usually you just get like. Oh, yo, yo, a man can be like, oh, I'm full. You want this? No, like, that's, 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 that's no bond, bro. Exactly. Like, Not you, sharing You, food, you, you even have food. a bond with them. But I get that, though. If, like, they, or they willingly pay for your food. Not even have to be that. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll fight for somebody that shared this shared food for me. You're just all about that action, bro. Nah, like, it, it depends. If That's too quick, man. I know. Like, I can fight, fam. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> if. Look, uh-huh. if God gave me the skills to fight, uh-huh. you're gonna use them. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I guess I guess. I know, but but to me, it, it depends on the situation. Cause like, okay, let's just say I did your example. We're like, mm. I've known him for like a week. Like we we, we shared food with it, like each other once. Yeah. If it's like him versus five mans, are, are you still <laughs> pulling up? Him Probably versus not versus five mans. Yeah, like five mans. Mm. Nah, this is what I'll do. Like I'll take care of him after he gets fucked up. Okay, you don't okay. want to do it. Because, <laughs> because, 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 that's it, good enough for me. Because like, like, like for like you guys, like if it was like 10 mans, like I, I will get jumped for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah of course, like, of course. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get jumped with you. But someone I knew like from like, like, like one month or something. Yeah. I'll like, make sure he gets like, home safe. That's what I'm saying. You know? if, if it was like two mans, I'll jump in. But like three or more, and I know you for a month, I can't, yeah. I can't do it, bro. Okay, okay. No, I get that. Yeah. No, but low key, because I was thinking like when I asked that question, if I seen Carlos's like homie homie getting jumped, like, or his cousin, mm-hmm. I would jump in. Oh yeah, yeah, cousin, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to you jump in, me? bro. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's family too. Yeah, it's family yeah, sure, to you, sure. so that's family to me. Yeah, yeah. You know? I feel that. I feel that. If it's <clears throat> that close, mm-hmm. yeah. But here's my thing with it too. It's like, look, I'm a trained lifeguard, mm-hmm. and I've been training how to fight like almost all my life. Yeah. If God gave me these skills that I'm able to save somebody's life, I'm able to fight. Even if God gave you the skills to speak really well mm. have your voice heard mm. it's your duty to use it that's true or, yeah i mean no matter what what skill it is no matter what god gave the gift of someone to be great at basketball mm. that's that's your duty to use that okay. in my opinion in my opinion you ain't wrong <laughs> right if you're very skilled at math you 
Use math, bro. Facts. Because some people aren't skilled enough. Some people weren't gifted that, and it's your duty to use that shit. Mm. So if somebody's drowning, fam, I'm gonna go save them. Yeah, that makes sense. Though, that's gonna be me. I can't swim. Especially, uh, yo, because especially like if if I was put in that spot at that moment, uh-huh. I feel like it's a sign for me that I was supposed to. Oh, that, like you were supposed to do something. I was, yeah, I was supposed to do. Especially if it felt that way. If it didn't feel that way, it is what it is. Yeah. But if it felt that way, I go on my word. You know. Okay, I get that though. Yeah, but it has to feel right. Honestly, everything can change in the, the depending on how I'm feeling at that time. <laughs> like, oh, we can, we can say all we want. We can say all we want, but it but depends how I'm feeling happens, that day. When it actually happens. Yeah, when it actually happens, it depends how I'm feeling that second. <laughs> you know, like, if, if I didn't eat too much that day, you know, like. <laughs> if Matt's thirsty. Yeah, like, like, have to take a piss at that moment. Yeah. No, nah, he, he can get jumped first. So I'll, I'll take care of him later. But me. Yeah. Because we can talk all we want theoretically uh-huh. until we're actually when there. Real, yeah. To be honest, bro, if you're constantly getting jumped, I'm not jumping. Realistically, <laughs> 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 I'm saying that shit, family. I don't know that, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, because because you have to you have to know. We can say all we want until we're uh-huh. actually there, bro. Uh-huh. It's a different story, man. Have you ever? Have you guys had to fight one of your homies? Fight one of my homies? Like ever? Like homies? get into a fist fight with like your close homie? Me and Denzel like, got into it one time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I it, about that. it was very short though. Uh, and you was funny. Yo, he fought John too. Oh yeah, he fought John he too. He fought John too. See, but I, there's a thing. It was like you're not close homies unless you guys can fight, and but then after you guys can resolve it easy. Oh yeah, uh, that's light. You feel me? That's super <laughs> light. <laughs> I, I, there's 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 been enemies I fought, and then you know what I mean yeah. like. It's yeah. all good the like next I, day. I, I don't think I fought like one of my close homies. Oh yeah, like a close. Nah, I don't think I I done that. Yeah. Well, I wasn't that close to Denzel at the time. But then that's how you got closer. You guys bought Loki. That <laughs> that, that's Loki. How you guys got closer and John exactly. too. Yeah, and John uh, too. After you guys fought, why did they start fighting again? We had the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think so. John was talking smack about Denzel. Oh, okay. after Denzel was like, after yo, all of us, we were all instigating it. We're like, oh, yo, 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 yeah. you're not gonna hold that, bro. You're not gonna yeah. hold that. Me and Josh y'all. instigate. No, these two bro. are the biggest. You're not gonna hold that, if you know, bro. Instigate they, every their home. chemistry is crazy. Even when it comes to when we play Mafia, <laughs> you guys definitely know Mafia. When they're t- when they're both Mafia, you can tell exactly what <laughs> it is. It's because so Carlos it's would say obvious, something, bro. and so then easy. Josh would say something like right after. Like you would see, nah. like they're on the team. Yo, the reason why it's so obvious because I, I ride out so quick. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You ride out too quick. As, as, man. Soon as, as soon as one man accuses Carlos, yeah. Yeah. I ride out too quick. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, Facts. bro. I just gave myself away. Oh, Facts. I just this, gave myself. This is a this is an old story that I told in like I think the third episode, but. Their chemistry is like this because when we were outside standing out the house party and you saw the blue and red lights, I look and Josh and Carlos, <laughs> they're, they're doing like a sprint. It's like a sprint, like wh- who's faster? It looks like it's organized, you know? It's like into, they went into formation. And we went away. Yeah, we we go gone, and we bro. split. <laughs> it's like they already know. They don't have to go the same yo, way. They, they can yo, go. Yo, we, don't even, we don't even have to talk about it, bro. We don't have to talk, know, bro. We don't have to we talk, bro. It just happens. Oh, it's, it's like that telepathy. It's like yeah. that telepathy. Uh, yo, those are the best moments, though. Yeah. I think when you spend... So how, how long do you think you have to spend with somebody to get that telepathy? To get that telepathy? Fuck, I feel like it's years on years, yeah, yo. That, that's, that's years, bro. That's I don't like, think so. I feel like it's on years on years. I feel like some people that you meet... You, Oh, that you, you can, just have the you can same. vibe with them right away. Yeah, you can vibe with them right away. Cause I knew um, cause I didn't know Josh a lot mm-hmm. until um we started this podcast. Yeah, thing. and then um when we went to these events and stuff, all the dumb things we would laugh at, I would laugh at. Mm-hmm. He would also be laugh laughing at, mm-hmm. and that's how you knew it was like I would just look at him, and we already knew what time it was mm-hmm. on. And you know, in all the vlogs, whenever we say a number, it's like that. That's you know? true. That's yeah, true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think? Do you think like? It's easy to meet someone right away and find a way to connect with them, no matter who it is. Cause you could, cause I feel, I'm not saying I'm really good at reading people. I feel like at this age, I'm able to connect with somebody no matter what. No matter. Like I'll find some way to, you know. Like you have to find like some common interest. Common interest or, mm. but is that being like good at manipulating? <laughs> yeah, low key. Because you can't force a rela- uh, friendship. Yeah. yeah. The fact that you can do that, no, because I can do that too, fam. It's just like I, but it's fake. It's just like people. Yeah, 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 yeah. you just have to know people like yeah. that. Damn. Yeah, now like you can, you can, you can tell, fam. Like when when we go to these events, fam, the Pickering energy is different. Like, yeah, it really is, man. We we're just hella happy, and then like you get clouded by everyone else, mm. you know. But at the same time, it's like we always stand our ground. We're always happy at the end of the day. But at some point, I feel like I'm always myself. It's just like I try to find like reasonable ground, being yeah. myself. So you want to. 
people please everyone. No, I don't people please every everyone, mm. but I just find a way to connect to everybody. Yeah, like just being that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I'll just find a way somehow. Mm. Maybe it's because I I take part in so many different shit. Yeah, like I take part in so many different hobbies, so many different like. So, so like it's, it's easier for mm. you. Like fam, I know stuff about knives like people wouldn't know about. You know what I mean, like I can connect to a hunter if everyone wants oh. I can connect to like freaking people about tools. Yeah, can, no, because uh, you probably guys got recognized at Comic Con. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know our crowd was like that too. I didn't know we had mans in that crowd. Oh, well, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah yo, the man everywhere, bro. Yeah, man's everywhere. At concerts, concerts too. Yeet, we have Yeet bro. fans. Yeet fans. Like it, it goes fans, from bro. Yeet to to Chainsaw Man fans. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah, how's that, that possible? Yeah, and then mans with like actual like they do firearms. They love us too. No, yo, you know what it is? It's it's like a, a common interest. Is just storytelling because yeah. honestly, jumpers jump is storytelling, theories, just a way of thinking, mm -hmm. and all of those. It doesn't. It's not necessarily like limited onto one niche. Yeah, because it's a niche in its own. And another thing that's because yo is is mad relatable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's the big part. Yeah, that's fine. like if you can be relatable with someone, like you can become friends with them easy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me hit you with a theory real quick. Okay, because I just had a theory in my head. Okay. Like I forgot to tell you. Okay, bye -bye. so. Check this out. I, I don't know why this has never been said before, but uh -huh. fucking, there's a SpongeBob theory. You know, Pearl. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's a whale. Okay. But she's also Mr. Krabs' daughter, right? Oh. Uh huh. How has this shit not been said? Mm. Isn't Pearl just Mr. Krabs' sugar baby? Isn't Mr. Krabs just the sugar daddy to Pearl? To Pearl? Wait, I thought that was the daughter. The, the, that's the daughter. Exactly. Wait, wait, but wait, wait. Mr. Wait. Krabs is a crab. Pearl is a whale. <laughs> did she, did she, she always calls him daddy. <gasps> whoa, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's Mr. Crazy. Krabs always uh. pays for all of her things. And uh. she's always asking for more she's money. She's always asking for more money, bro. And he's a money man. Yeah. Mr. Krabs has beer bread. Mr. Krabs is a sugar daddy to Pearl ah, okay. this whole time. And Pearl's Loki a thoughty too. Like if you that really too. bag it in, like she's always with the cooler fish, like in the car. And yes, like, oh bro. dad, I need more money. Oh, yes, insane. bro. That's insane. Because there's ne nothing oh. ever said about Pearl's mom. That's true. And Mr. Krabs, he doesn't have a girl or anything. Exactly. Like, he's just by himself. What the hell? Oh, my God. Loki, I have a theory. Yeah. Mr. Krabs' wife, the oh. other crab, he got so selfish that he put her in a Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> tell me that. Could, oh, that could, tell me that's not That's, that's not valid. Believable. That's valid. Come on, bro. Yo, yo I, I swear, like, one episode, like, didn't they say that crabs were actually in it? Or like in yeah, the yeah. recipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. said that. They so said it's like, that. what if they he discovered that by murdering his wife? And the man just sold the body. Oh my god. That's something know. he would do though. That's something probably he would ate do. it himself, fam. Exactly. She's probably the first bite of the a first. crabby patty dog. <laughs> exactly, bro. That's fucked. Exactly, fam. Guy has all this bread and doesn't spend it. More times though. Yo, hear me out. Because Mr. Krabs, uh -huh. we know he's about his money. You know he's an entrepreneur. Uh -huh. Would he ever really marry? Definitely not because, because he can, he can lose like, his money mm, if he marries. He he yeah, he can lose his money. As so we grow it. older, we understand SpongeBob more, <laughs> bro. We understand SpongeBob more. And, Mr. Krabs never had a wife, bro. And Josh said, "Yo, where where is he putting all that money? He makes bear, OnlyFans, and he puts it into his sugar baby." You see, yo, Mr. Krabs has OnlyFans. Only, <laughs> no, 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 he, he, he puts it into OnlyFans and, only, and to sugar what's babies. What's Come on, bro. The more we know, God, so he has OnlyFans. <laughs> No, I remember. I remember no. that, that the one episode where Mr. Krabs was dumb thick. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm talking about, bro? The BBL, I, yo, the yeah, BBL. When, when he's washing the car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, that's yo theory. Mr. Krabs has a BBL. He definitely has a BBL, bro. <laughs> His pants do not fit him, bro. Don't, don't kill me, bro. Hold on, I have one more theory. Okay, I bet this one's kind of fucked. But I saw this on TikTok the other day. Yeah. They pretty much say that birthdays. Uh, they're actually rituals against us. How so? Right. Now check this out, right? Who came up with the idea of blowing out candles and singing happy birthday to you? Ooh. Happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know. Now check this out. <laughs> How the man know that? Now, now, listen. Whoever started it, uh -huh. the creation of birthdays, it seriously is a ritual. You blow a candle, you say a chant, and then you make a wish. wish. Now what if every time you wish on your birthday, mm -hmm. it actually locks you in to aging more. So that's why that whole ritual was made 
to make you older. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Got it. Think about that shit. Because blowing out a candle, think about church, fam. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We use candles, we use chants, and then when you blow out the candle, everything is done. So it's like a reverse. You think it's good, but it's actually locking. Yeah. Like it's making you worse. Because what is it really manifesting? What is it really conjuring? It's, it is conjuring older. you older. Yeah. Because it's sealing in your fate to grow older. Yeah. Yo, I wonder how like people who like don't celebrate birthdays or like that don't use birthdays are. Oh. How, how young are they? Yeah, how young they are, bro. Because mm. age is but a number, man. <laughs> <Head ass. laughs> do, do you think there's the, the fountain of youth somewhere? The fountain of youth? You think that's where Josh's treasure is? <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> imagine, imagine we come back on the podcast and we're back to 20. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, I seen this guy, though. He's like reversing his age. You seen that? What? what? <laughs> <How's> that <laughs> you ever seen that? No, nah, this is identify as funny. This guy's gonna turn to a baby or something. Yeah, dude. <laughs> nah, nah, check this out. Mega so the, there's this guy. I think he's like in his late forties, I believe. Yeah. But he's a millionaire, uh-huh. and he's working with stem cell research. He's working with so many different chemicals. Oh. He's reversing his age, and his body right now uh-huh. is that of a fourteen year old. Fourteen year old is like, crazy. We're talking skin. We're talking organs. We're talking everything of his body uh-huh. is that of a fourteen year old. So he has the energy. He has the mobility. Everything of fourteen. How's that even possible? Oh, wait, wait, why would you want that though? So he can live longer. But in your mind, you're still like he still the has the like same his, age. Mm-hmm. Mind. You can just live longer, bro. Because if you really bag it, like all of this shit, this is just. Mm. I mean, this is just a vessel. Uh-huh. Mm. This is just a vessel. This is what really counts right here. Uh-huh. This right here, this is what really counts. Everything yo, else is just the vessel. I have a question. Yo, what year we think will be like the best year to live for like the rest of your life? Like if you can like stick out like one year, like if it's like 20 something mm. or like 35. Loki, the, the year we all graduated was a happy ass year. We still had a lot of responsibilities though. But yeah, it wasn't that true. bad. It wasn't that bad. It was like we go to school and that's it. Yeah. Like if you can like relive. That's the perfect one. Like, like graduate, like right before that year, right before university. Cause I feel like at that age, like you're you're still old enough to like understand a lot of stuff. Yeah, but, but like you're still young enough to like make mistakes. Yeah, exactly. Word. Exactly. That's a great question. Ah, that's such a hard thing to say, Josh. Uh-huh. That's such a hard thing to answer for me because it's like we would change our answer depending how old we are. If we, if we answer that now, we would say this age. If we answer that when we're forty, we'd probably say that because our kids. Cause Loki, I, I would say like the age that we're at right now. Oh, you like it right now? Yeah, I, I would say that too. Really? But that's bias. You know I know because <laughs> yeah, the, mo- kind of the moment you have a family, the moment you have like kids and shit, you probably be like, I, I want to be switching. Yeah, I want to stay as up. long as possible with them. Mm, really? Wait, so that guy who who's forty and he's in a fifteen year old body right now, so he could get away with crimes and not go to jail? What the fuck? No, he's so <laughs> old, bro. No, no, what are you talking no. about? <laughs> no, because he's in a fifty. He identifies as fifteen, right? Or he no. doesn't identify as 15. Oh, okay. He's no, old. His body. body is oh, like younger, dog. Just, That's he, whack. He's like a 15 year old body. That's whack. That's like Loki on some pedal shit, too. I want to see. Like, yeah. No, like, yo, yo, if someone were to smash that, is that. No, exactly. no, he still looks old, but it's. It, I don't know, but like his body's like. His body's young. No, he still kind of looks old, you know what I mean? Like, you can you can tell he's an adult. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, Hasbula. Oh, that's perfect. Hasbula. Hear me out. Has Hasbula ever got laid? <laughs> Oh, no, 100%. That's, like, so he, 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 that's a crazy nah, nah, he, he definitely smashed, bro. Check that shit out, bro. That's, that's crazy. No, nah, he, he definitely smashed like another girl that's like him. <laughs> that, that looks like him. No. Nah. the same thing. No. Nah. You, you're telling me that he, did, that he never found another one Yo. just like him that he, uh, he didn't smash? Josh, man. 100% he smashed, bro. Nah, hear me out, though. Like, because he's, he's technically 20 like something, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. The only girls I would smash would be like older, but they would be full size. That's so weird. But Loki, there's kinks of like, you know, those smaller people kinks. Uh, so it's both it's bad on both sides. It's bad still. on both sides. Bad on both it's sides. not bad on him though. But if he can I guess it's not bad on him. Uh, Cause no matter what he's thinking of dope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no matter, matter what he's, he's thinking of dope. dope. Yo, cause knowing the Nelk bands. Oh, the they, they, boys? They, definitely sure. sell to, they, they definitely sent them up. There's probably some shit on Patreon right now. Nah, that's, that's, that's crazy, crazy that's bro. Nah, he definitely smashed another female Hasbula, bro. A hundred percent. No, if his Hasbula can whip a car, he can definitely. That's what I'm saying. He got smashed, bro. <laughs> like, like, come he on, bro. At that point, he probably has. Yeah. Though he probably has. That's crazy, though. <laughs> Just imagine. Wait, 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 w
That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's what you sound like. Yeah, I know. Did the kid No, never mind. <laughs> Relax. Yo, Loki. Yo, I always see Hasbro like fighting man. If you were to fight him, if you were to fight him back, is that bad? Oh yeah, are you crazy? <laughs> you don't fight but, that. But he's a grown man. He's a grown man, fam. Nah, that that's 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 fuck, he's a grown man, bro. That's fucked. Cause no. yo, he be hitting man's hard, fam. He do be hitting man. Yeah, he be Loki, hitting man in, in the face so hard. Cause he so is twenty. You, that's what I'm saying. So if you were to punch him back, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I would do it. But I'm saying if someone were to do that, it, yo, is that bad? I think it's no. just ethically or morally just wrong. <laughs> All right, hear me out. If I dressed up. <laughs> Say it, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna choose my words carefully. Okay. I say this, canceled. Nah, <laughs> if I dressed up, if I dressed up like a Teletubby, uh huh, you wouldn't want to punch a Teletubby. <laughs> Says who? But you can still punch me. Uh -huh. No, but if you're fighting me, I have the obligation. I'll punch you back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you wouldn't necessarily want to. If yeah. look, look, let's say I'm beefing with a guy. Uh -huh. But this guy's a furry. I'm not gonna want to beef a furry. Ah, uh, I don't know. But yo, getting punched by a furry—that's yeah, a hard punch. I would like. That's a hard. Okay, punch, okay. Man. Ready, ready. Now he's dressed up as a priest. He's actually a priest. A priest? Oh, <laughs> you get me? Like you're not gonna want to punch a priest, bro. A priest. Josh is on smoke <laughs> so all day, bro. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. Who. You get so bang on a priest. Priest is crazy. <laughs> These hands are e for <laughs> everyone. So Yo, a priest? Yeah, a priest. Of course, bro. Nah. No, but oh, like, if no, he, I, I if thought about one crazy, bro. What? Okay, like, what? What is like? Someone was like <clears throat> dressed up like as your mom or something. Oh, that's kind of crazy. That's what I'm saying. And they're like boxing you out. Oh, remember that theory you had about cyberpunk? Which one? Yo. So we had this theory on cyberpunk, right? Uh -huh. How we said, what if um Ooh. David's David's mom yeah. didn't actually die, and then she instead became Adam Smasher. Yeah. So it was David's mom's body, and then he had to fight his mom, oh, his no. dead mom. But it's like his mom is like brainwashed. They didn't use that in the anime. They should have used that. They should have used that. That would have been crazy. Yeah. But if you were to fight your your dead mom's body, but it was like a robot, would you be able to do it? It's like fighting Link and Dark Link. You know what I mean? It's like, hard, it's not man. actually him. But it's not actually my mom. But, but like, yeah, but it is still resembles it. It's still, okay. Because the thing is like, as, you, as soon as you see in your face, yeah. you're, you're going to get all the Exactly. It's like, it's like, gonna hit. it's like your mom turns into a zombie. Uh -huh. oh, okay, then I could, can. Could you, could you K your mom? Oh, fuck. Zombie version? Maybe. Ah, oh, man, that's, that's hard. I feel like zombie version is, is worse. Really? I think it's, it's harder. Yo, that reminds me of like a AOT when like that guy's mom was a Titan and like oh. he just left it. Like he just left her there. Yeah. Like he couldn't kill her. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'll do, man. Yeah, low key. Just because as soon as you see her face, like Josh said, you'll hit, you'll get hit. How about if it was like your brother <laughs> or, or, or like sister? Same fam. That's Same still thing? family at the end of the day. Not Cousin? <laughs> Cousin, 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 cousin
would you really, really want a Charizard Charizard. all the time, or would you want a Charmander? Would you want the Charmander? Would you want a Blastoise like twenty four seven, or would you want a Squirtle twenty four seven? Pokemon's different, bro. Pokemon's different. You would want a Blastoise, but to take care of. I need the biggest one. Pause. What the fuck are you doing, Blast? This is the whole room. Blastoise is gonna fill up the whole room. That's light. That's my homie. Okay, keep in mind, uh-huh. Blastoise is what a reptile. Uh-huh. It's gonna smell. Fast. No matter what, he's gonna smell, fam. And it's dripping it's, all over the floor. Squirtle's gonna dank too. It's Squirtle will dank too, but at least like you know, you can put him in a, a tub. Mm. That's true. I only think Blastoise Dookie is gonna be crazy. You know, you know the Pokemon Trainer game where you it shows the Pokemon following you. Uh huh. Mm. When Blastoise follows you, it looks out of character. But when those tiny Pokemon yeah, follows you, yeah, it looks like it looks it makes sense. I, I think the only Pokemon would be like Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu. Pikachu yeah. Loki is the oh no, because he has Raichu. But that's a different form. Pikachu Loki is the Hasbula of the Pokemon community. Oh yeah, you're right. Low, low key. Yeah. They chose to not evolve to him. To not evolve him, yeah. Mm. Damn, bro. Yo, I he might be the Mew is doesn't evolve. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say Mewtwo or Mew. It's Maybe awful. that was Hasbu- Hasbula's um uh, nerf in life. Cause he, what if what if he they gave him proper you feel me genetics? He uh-huh. would turn out as a like a professional boxer to look like Michael B. Jordan. You feel me? He just got nerfed crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's a crazy take, Gavin. Gosh, got <laughs> Not gonna lie, Gavin got creative with that one stuff. So. Oh no, yo, yo, I think he might be nerfed as a regular person though. <laughs> <laughs> that Hasbula's that guy right now. He's that exactly. guy. Though. Yeah. He's that guy, fam. Exactly. I remember, um, damn, this is gonna get deep, but like, uh-huh. I had this this talk at the cottage with Marshall. It's like, yeah. why does uh-huh. God put these certain people in our in in, in the world uh-huh. if they have disadvantages in life? Right? I told him like, bro, low key, those people are in life are meant to inspire others. So even though mm. they have and they're misfortunate in certain ways, mm-hmm. because we're fortunate in other ways, we see that and we feel grateful for what we have. Because imagine if everybody was equal. Everything's the same. Mm-hmm. I feel like we would be re- rivaling everything, everyone, everyone we see because we're all the same, no? No, that's true. We wouldn't be grateful. Uh-huh. We wouldn't be grateful, exactly. Yeah. But the fact that there's differences in everything, like walks of life, mm-hmm. culture, even skin tone, like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? We're grateful for what we have. Yeah, come on. Like, like, even when, like, when I'm feeling like at my worst, mm-hmm. like, I can always like think about, I'm like, yo, like, it could have been way worse. Like, you know, I still yeah. got two legs. Exactly. Facts, Some people that facts. don't even have that. There's so much shit that we don't have and so much shit we do have. And we realize, like, what we, what we can share is, and certain people can't themselves. Yeah. yeah. Right? Facts, bro. And like, yo, like, we have a lot, bro. Like, we have a lot more yeah. than we think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's so much. There's so much we have. And I feel like, um, that whole lesson I, I got from Baron Sam Barris, though. What? Wait, there's this one, is one episode. Person. There's this one episode of Baron Sam Barris, bro. And Dude, then I remember um, Brother Bear, he was like looking at the moon. Uh-huh. And before he went to bed, he's like, I'm going I'm to I'm thank what, I, what I'm grateful for. I'm thankful for mom. I'm thankful for dad. And he caves. <laughs> Don't kill me. That, that, that show went hard, though. <laughs> that show went hard. That, show went hard. that theme song went stupid. I'm telling you, if we go to the Philippines and uh-huh. we all go, like, it'll be, you'll become great, so grateful when we go back. Oh, because like, you anyone, see yeah. the third world. Because, fam, like, once you, once you see, like, the kids sleeping on the bridge and shit like that, mm. I remember it was in front of a church where a kid was just trying to sell flowers, right? Mm-hmm. And he, he got caught by the security guard trying to sell them, and the security guard ripped all his flowers up, kicked them Damn. out of the property. Damn. And after I seen that, I was like, holy fuck, I don't have to... I, I sit in front of a camera and talk for a living, bro. I can't complain about life. If I do, that's... Like, you feel me? Like yeah. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't yeah. feel right, exactly. I think no matter what, though, we, we get too comfortable in our comfort, mm-hmm. you know? And then we, we lose the sense of, like what it took for us to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Not just us to get there, but everyone before us, all our ancestors, whoever it may be, yeah. for us to get in this specific position right now. Mm-hmm. For all we know, my ancestor probably had to hike over mountains and mountains and mountains to get to, over, get to the next city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know they're hella happy in St. Lucia too. Yo, they are, I know bro. the vibes. The vibes Yo, are the, They're like, that's like the most happiest people I've ever seen. And yeah. like, they be having nothing, bro. Nothing, mm-hmm. Like, they be bro. living in huts. Yes. And like, they don't, they don't like get depressed. Like, depression is like not even like really. Yeah, like, depression is not. Worse. It's not, it's not a thing. Like, they just live, bro. Like, yeah. if something bad happens, like, you know, they just fix it and move on. Yeah. Exactly. Like, they, cause like, they have to worry about like survival every day. And like, mm-hmm. they don't have to like, like, they don't, they're not even worried about that. Real talks. You know what? 
<sighs> okay, this is crazy. Uh-huh. It's almost a theory too, because if you think about it, we kind of complicate everything now to give us more problems. Yeah, well, yeah that's true. I was just going to say, we're given too much to the point where it's like, we want some more. Yeah. No, we're creating more problems. Yeah, yeah. God, I feel like we, we always want to make something better and better Facts. all the time. When it's good enough. Mm-hmm. Like, when when does it stop? No. yeah, It's not. That's the thing. It doesn't, right? It doesn't. But there's only one way of true survival. We only need food, shelter, water. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Air. Now there's uh-huh. phone, TV, exactly. movies, Netflix. We don't actually need that we don't shit. Need that. We don't need that. And the people that just get the basic stuff, like, they're the happiest people. Facts, bro. Well, What's crazy though in the city, mm-hmm. you can't live like that. Yeah, no, you would have to move somewhere else. Yeah, <sighs> I'm telling you, the simp- it's so simple in third world countries. Life is so simple. Mm. They've like perfected life, but now it's like fuck. We think we're the we're the spoiled ones. Nah, fam, they're the nah, spoiled they're, ones they're, because they're living, whatever bro. they get is a fucking a million dollars to them. Mm. Hear me out. Mm. I don't know exactly if I would want this, but it wouldn't be too bad to just live small life. Like ret- retiring, yeah, retiring like old age, just in somewhere tropical, you know, mm-hmm. not worrying about too much, but like making my food, drinking water, hanging out, activities, exercise. That's it. Yeah, hanging with friends, family, whoever it may be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like after a while, don't you think that'll get like a little bit boring? No, you know why it wouldn't get boring though? Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say the most spiritual thing. I thought you were going to say the deepest thing of all time. I was ready for it. (laughs) No, I actually don't know. That's the truth. That's the truth. Like, I'm not there yet. Uh, So I can't really say. Because do you think think because I I lived this part of the world already, Mm -hmm. this certain time in history Uh where everything is so, like, digitized and (laughs) we have so much at our attention, can you even go back? I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like as long as you have a goal, like your life can be entertaining. Yeah, like well, without a goal yeah. or like a purpose, like that's just, I don't know. That's just boring. Mm. It's hard to say if everybody, you know, uh-huh. every single person, you know, has access to this network. They're all talking to each other. You're the only one left out. You think you could live like that? Everyone you ever know, not just like your family to everybody. They're all connected except for you. Could you live like that? I don't think so, because it, most people they don't want they don't want to feel left out. Like that's just how humans are naturally. Like we we want to be in the community. Like we want to be part of the group. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't I don't know. Like the, you you would have to be a different breed for you to do that. So it would be technically impossible yeah. unless you find a new family. Mm-hmm. Animals, yo, Jungle Book, Jungle Book, shit, man. That wouldn't be too like if if I could talk to animals, bro. Uh huh. I wouldn't mind living. Animals live a simple life too. It's literally just food <laughs> and fucking around with people. That's it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Exactly. I seen those crabs in Hawaii. Like they pop out the holes and shit. Yeah, like, and that's it. They get just, the crumbs. Yeah, that's it. They get ate by a bird. That's it, bro. Yeah. Did you see the birds um that got um fed uh what do you call those? La- laxatives. Lacti- laxatives. Oh yeah, and, oh beach. my that's gosh, fuck. bro. That's crazy. And they, like like lily turrets, fam. Yeah. Have you seen that video? So there's this uh, there's this pigeon. Uh-huh. This guy in New York trained the pigeon <laughs> to go collect spare change on the street <laughs> and steal money. So yo, this pigeon would fly into his apartment window, uh-huh. drop off some money in like a, a bin, and then he would just return it and give it like a piece of bread. And the pigeon would go back out and come back with more money. This guy has unlimited money glitch with pigeons <laughs> that's the most new york shit i ever heard of my it's life bro. crazy that's the most new york shit i ever and heard and you of can my see life. the bin it's full of it's full of change full of what money bro fuck? now imagine you have rats too oh my god you have the world in your hands you have the rats you have the rats bro you have the land animals and you have oh. the air animals oh yeah You're there's good. bear rats bear rat nah See? That's fuck. If there's one animal can I can sh- control, it's definitely rats, bro. Now you want to get deep as fuck? You okay. ready? Okay. What if the elite people uh, are doing that, but not with pigeons, but with what? dogs, people? And we'll end it there. Thank you yeah. for watching Jumper Jump Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, end it. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. I don't yeah, want to get into. I don't want to get into that. that is Thank deep. you for watching this episode of Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out my second channel. Link in the description below. We got other content there, vlogs and such. 
So make sure to listen to us on Apple, Spotify. Make sure to download those episodes. Shout out Josh for coming through, man. Yes, sir. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, I got sir. two channels. I got an anime channel, Top 3 Anime. And then I got Josh Nugent channel. You know, we're going to do Ox Wars on that again. Yes, sir. So stay tuned for that. Lots and lots of content. So go check that out. Mm. Jumpers jump out. Peace.